Hey guys, what's up? It's a Chinchilla Notebook here, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing it on how to tell, oh my word, how to tell if your chinchilla likes you. So I got this video where it's really requested, so I thought I would do it for you guys finally because you really wanted me to do it. So yeah, here it is. And before I get into it, I just want to say that it's actually really hard to tell for sure what the animal is thinking. Obviously, it's an animal. You can't tell about, you can't tell what they're thinking, their emotions or anything. You can only tell by their actions and even then it's sometimes hard. So I'm in by no means saying that with these things, your chinchilla is going to for sure hate you and for sure like you. Like, I'm not saying that at all. I could be completely off or completely right. So I don't know. This is an animal we don't really know for sure. And then another thing is it depends on their personality and how much trust they have with you. I've said this before, but it's true. Every chinchilla is different and they're going to act differently. They're going to, you know, respond differently to you. It might just be the chinchilla's personality and also how much trust they have with you. So that being said, let's just jump right into the video. Oh dear. Good job, Merlin. Really good job. Also, we're in a new location. I'm in my parents' bathroom filming because it's kind of loud in my house right now and this is the quietest place. Plus, he likes to be let out, so I let him out. Okay, so let's just get into if the chinchilla likes you and they're comfortable with you. The first thing is they will come to greet you most of the time. Now, obviously, chinchillas sleep during the daytime or they're more sleepy during the daytime and my chinchilla doesn't even come every time, but most of the time when I come into the laundry, he'll just jump at the cage bars, really excited to see me and he'll either want a treat or to come out or me to pet him and that's one of the ways that you can tell. The next thing is they let you pet and scratch them. So chinchillas don't really like to be held, at least not most of them, but if they let you pet them and scratch them underneath the chin or under behind the ear or something, um, that's another sign that they like you, obviously, but just keep in mind that your chinchilla might let you do this most of the time and sometimes not, depending on their mood. Next thing is they climb over you, over and on you during playtime. So Merlin does this a lot. He loves to climb over me and onto my legs and onto my hands when I let him out. What are you doing in there? What are you doing in there? Yeah, you're in there. Are you hiding? Are you camera shy? Nope, okay. If they're comfortable with you, they will not be afraid of climbing over you, on you. The next thing is they don't always bark and run away. So I don't know if you guys know this, but chinchillas do bark when they're annoyed, but they won't always do this. My other chinchilla always did this. He hated me, not even for doing anything. He would, he would like bite me and bark and run away all the time. But if your chinchilla doesn't do this all the time, that's a good sign. Obviously they're not portraying aggressive behavior. So this is all the things I could come up with to tell if they like you. And the next thing we're going to talk about is what like what signs tell you that your chinchilla don't like you or that they're scared of you. So the first thing is they never come to greet you even during active hours. Like mentioned before, chinchillas are more active during the evening, like dawn and dusk and like the evening, they're crepuscular. So if they never come to greet you even during active hours, even though they're actively moving and they just never want to see you or come to you willingly, that's probably a sign that they don't like being around you. So the next thing is they bark and run away if you try to pet them. Obviously chinchillas, even Merlin, however good his personality is, however social he is, sometimes doesn't want me to pet him or touch him. And he'll bark or he'll just make it clear to me in another way. But if they bark and run away if you try to pet them every single time no matter what, probably don't like you or they're scared of you or they feel that you are a threat to them in some way. And also, male chinchillas, if they get really scared or they're just threatened suddenly, they might pee on you. So yeah, just to let you know, if that happens, they're probably scared of you. That can happen with the nicest of chinchillas. It, it could have just been a tick off from something. If chinchillas attack your hand every time you reach into the cage, that's probably not a good thing. Um, Merlin actually used to do this. He used to hate me. I'm not even kidding. With a great passion, he just moved this whole basket. Wow, Merlin. He's really strong. If they attack you every single time, like Merlin used to do this all the time, and they probably really hate you. <laughs> Gladly, he's gotten over it, and I, I figured it out with him, and I like worked with him so that he didn't hate me as much as he used to, <laughs> but yeah. 
The last thing is they hide from you during playtime or when you're around the cage. Not a lot of chinchillas will do this, but some will. They'll just like hide from you all the time and not want to be around you. And this could be because they're either tired or just not in a good mood, but if they do this all the time, it's probably because they're scared of you. Hey, don't, don't bite the wall. This is pretty much everything I could come up with on how to know if your chinchillas like you or don't like you. Again, some of these may not even be the case. It could be anything that your chinchilla is acting in these ways. But this is just what I've observed works with. Oh my goodness. Wow, if you guys didn't know, chinchillas are pretty strong when they're stubborn and ambitious like Merlin. Merlin's being really naughty this playtime. He's usually not like this, but he's feeling very active. Also, if you're wondering what happened to my wrist, I was doing gymnastics and I was doing a flip and I landed on it and... Uh, so that's why it's like this. I hope it heals soon. I actually thought it would heal by now because this happened last Wednesday, but it hasn't. So hopefully that heals soon because it's really unfortunate. <laughs> anyway, sorry the camera strap keeps coming in the way. That must be really annoying. Before I leave, I want to say that I'm probably going to do my chinchilla evening routine next Monday. So I'll have that up for you guys. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And Merlin says bye.